So, a huge point of contention. Physiotherapists and manual handling trainers have been teaching people for years that they must lift with a straight back. But do we actually need to? Let's find out. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So how many times have you seen videos or diagrams like this that suggest that if you lift with a straight back, you'll be okay, and if you don't, you'll be in trouble? Well, often companies have to put this message out to their employees, mainly because of legislation. It suggests that if you don't teach this to your employees, you put them at more risk of developing back pain. And I suppose the idea is we've always believed that. We've always assumed that if someone gets back pain through lifting, it's because they didn't lift with a straight back. So let me ask you a question. Think about all the times that you lift things around your house. Might be the vacuum cleaner, might be a basket full of laundry. And out of all those occasions, how many times do you lift that item with a perfectly straight back? I don't know maybe 10% of the time, I would imagine the vast majority of the world are exactly the same. So if all of us lift with a not straight back, maybe around 90% of the time, why don't we all have back pain? So what does the evidence say? Well, first of all, I have a paper from Khodam Khorasani et al. in 2020. They looked at scientific models that specifically measured the amount of stress and strain put through different structures in the back during lifting. They looked at things like shear forces, muscle activity, segmental compression, and facet joint shear forces. And they compared that for people lifting with a lordotic or very straight back posture, a kyphotic or rounded posture, or a free posture somewhere in the middle between the two. The results were fascinating. They found that the straight back or lordotic posture actually had more strain than the rounded posture in lots of different ways. The straight back posture had up to 19% more muscle activity, up to 46% more segmental compression, up to 47% more shear forces, and up to 80 newtons worth of facet joint shear forces. So is a straight back posture the best option after all? So what did they find was best. The free lifting posture, the somewhere in the middle between the other two posture. And that makes sense to me, is probably the posture that's more natural, more comfortable, and probably how the majority of people lift most of the time. Next, we have the story from the research of Von Arx et al. from 2021. They took 30 healthy, pain-free individuals and asked them to repeatedly lift a 15 kilo box using either a freestyle posture, a squat or straight back posture, or a stooped or rounded posture. They used high level motion sensor equipment to look at these different lifting techniques and measure things like shear forces, compression forces, and total loads during each lift. So what were the key results? Let me read them to you. Stooped lifting posture produced lower total and compressive lumbar loads than squat lifting. Now they did find shear loads were generally higher during stoop lifting, except for at the L5-S1 segment, where anterior shear loads were higher during squat lifting. So again, what does that tell us? Perhaps that straight or squat lifting posture isn't necessarily the best way to lift. This doesn't necessarily tell us that stooped is loads better, but again, we don't have to lift with a straight back posture all the time. So what are my key take home messages? Well, the evidence shows us that lifting with a perfectly straight back may not actually be the best way for us to lift. And in fact, the evidence from Khodam Khorasani in our first paper shows us that a relaxed, free posture may actually be just as good after all. So instead, what is important for lifting and reducing the risk of injury? Well, first of all, a couple of really simple things. Smoking obesity, a sedentary lifestyle. We know that these things are all risk factors for musculoskeletal pain in general. The other question is, are we fit enough to do the lifting we need to do? 
We know that a stronger, more active, healthier individual is less likely to have issues with lifting than someone who has a sedentary lifestyle who doesn't do much activity at all. And if we compare that to most of the population, we know that there are people who are sedentary but then go to a job and are expected to lift 20 kilos all day without any issues at all. I would suggest that those general risk factors and keeping ourselves active, strong, healthy and moving is far more important than the exact degree of spinal extension when we lift. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do support us by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel to get all of our best updates. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Clinical Physio and check out our website clinicalphysio.com. I'm Khalid, thank you so much for watching. See you really soon here on Clinical Physio.